everyone, Kevin Man here. Today we got the new Mountain Dew Rise. Not, no, not Rise. No more Rise. Cherry Lime Lift. It's coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today and if you want to stay informed in all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night and one of the weekends. And if you'd like to get early access to my Tuesday videos and other perks, I do offer channel memberships. You can find the information in a pinned comment down below or the join button if you're on desktop. And in today's video, we're going over the new Mountain Dew Energy Cherry Lime Lift. I am first going to tell you a little bit about the lawsuit that they had with a name change before doing a taste test of the cherry limeade. Timestamps and chapters down below, even though I think this is only going to be like eight, nine, maybe 10 minute video. People like timestamps. They just want to know what it tastes like. Let's get into this. So Mountain Dew Rise was actually released in March of 2021. And by June of 2021, they were already part of a lawsuit filed against them. The Rise Brewing Company, which is a canned coffee, a coffee in a can, and they claimed that this new Mountain Dew Rise was going to confuse customers and destroy their business. So they filed a lawsuit against Pepsi Mountain Dew. And in the preliminary hearings, it did seem like they had a good case against Pepsi. So it seems like the Mountain Dew Rise was going to have to change their name. Now, from what I've read about lawsuits, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know a ton about these things, but I did do a lot of research on the Bang and Monster lawsuits that they had against each other and other companies as well. Celsius and Ashok also got into a lawsuit. And it's all about logos and copyrights and all that stuff. When you look at these two cans right here, I don't think that they looked very similar. They did say that the Rise logo was dominant in one of the central focuses on both drinks. But, 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 it's, it's the name of the company. It's the name of the drink. It should be the focal point on the can. It's a completely different logo. It's a completely different color. And not only that, but I, I don't see, I don't see these two cans getting mixed up very easily. And the last thing that I wanted to say was basically they're, they're two different genres, two different categories. And from what I understood, if they were two different categories, it, it wasn't as big of a deal. I do know that when Monster released their sister company, Rain, Bang filed a lawsuit right away saying that they already had a drink called Rain, but they didn't end up having to change the name of it because it was actually part of the pre-workout supplement category as opposed to energy drinks. Even though it was also supposed to be kind of a pre-workout energy drink, it was classified under the energy drinks where the other rain made by VPX, who makes Bang, had a supplement packs panel on it. It was definitely considered a supplement. So it was my understanding that if you were in two different categories, you know, Mountain Dew Energy is an energy drink and Rise Coffee Brewing is coffee. But whatever the case may be, whether Pepsi didn't want to have to deal with the lawsuits or they did go through with the lawsuit, I didn't actually see what the results were. All I know is that the result was Mountain Dew Rise changed their name to Mountain Dew Energy. So they either lost the lawsuit or settled or just said, no, don't worry about it, we're gonna change our name. We'll just call it Mountain Dew Energy, it's not a big deal. And here's the can. All their cans are following the similar theme. They got like that nice matte silver. And then they got the red on there for the cherry, a little bit of green on there. So it makes you wonder how much lime is gonna be in there. I don't think that represents how much lime is in there, but it would be good if it was a little bit more cherry with a complimentary amount of lime. I know there are some people that like a heavy lime with a little bit of cherry, but they put cherry on there first. Of course, I think everything's cherry lime. I don't think there's ever a, a lime cherry drink. But anyway, only 25 calories. It does have 180 milligrams of caffeine. And if you want to know all the stats of everything in this drink, be sure to check out my first review that I did on Mountain Dew Rise, currently called Mountain Dew Energy. Since I went over all the details in that video over there, well, let's go ahead, let's taste this one out. Got ourselves a red color going on there. A lot of your pre-workout drinks uh, started doing zero artificial colors. A lot of your sugar-free drinks also went towards the no artificial colors, but there are still a couple of companies that do the artificial colors. This one uses red 40 and a little bit of blue one. Some people will be outraged by that. Most people probably won't. Let's taste it out. So 
So for your carbonation, you're getting a high carbonation out of here. It still does go the way of uh, most of the Mountain Dews and stuff that they're giving you a lot of carbonation. Uh, for your sweetness, I would say you're getting a medium to high sweetness, closing in on high. They could have gone maybe a touch sweeter to hit that high category. I don't think it's high enough just yet. And the same thing goes for that flavor profile. I would have to say that it is medium to high, closing in on high. And for that flavor, I think they could have gave you just a little bit more of both flavors in there. I think that they gave you uh, the first thing that you get is the cherry flavor, but I'd like a much stronger, sweeter cherry flavor from it. And then the lime is very light. I think that is very coincidental that they only have a little bit of green on the can, that it is mostly red, but they did actually give you a light amount of lime. But overall, I still think it's pretty good. I still think it is one of the better Mountain Dew energy flavors that they have. I think the pomegranate blue burst was my favorite out of all, but uh, it's not a super strong cherry lime. And I think some people are going to like that because it does have this uh, lighter feel to it in general. If you're someone who likes the lighter feel energy drinks with still a decent amount of flavor to it, you could go this route, but I do know there are a lot more cherry limeades that are more powerful in either cherry or more powerful in lime flavor. So if you're someone who loves a big burst of flavor, you're probably gonna go for something else. But if you're looking for a light and refreshing cherry limeade flavor, you're probably gonna go for this uh, cherry lime lift from Mountain Dew Energy. You do not want to know how many times I'm probably going to have to edit out the times I said Mountain Dew Rise. It's a lot. You'll always see a jump cut right before I say Mountain Dew Energy. But the ultimate question is where is it going to go on the Caffeine Man rating chart? And even though I think it is one of the better flavors from Mountain Dew Energy, I still think that... Um, it's gonna score maybe a touch lower just because it's not a super high flavor profile like a lot of the competition on that list. But I do think it is something worth picking up if you like cherry lime just to try it out because it is a pretty good flavor. And when you fall into that category of a pretty good flavor, is it something I would buy again? You know, it's Mountain Dew Energy. Mountain Dew does go on sale a lot. I know a lot of you guys like your sale drinks and you're willing to buy it if it's like a two for four or something because it's cheaper than a lot of the other energy drinks. So I would say for the price when it's on sale, it's good to pick up. Would I buy it at full price? I think I paid $2.99 for this, but I did go to a kind of expensive convenience store. So, so you pay the convenience store prices. But on the Caffeine Man rating chart, I am actually going to give this an 8.8. .8. It's a good score. It's a solid score. I will also, besides just putting up the cherry lime flavors there, I will also put up the other Mountain Dew energy flavors that I rated. And you'll see that it is pretty high up there. But when it comes to the competition for cherry lime, like I said, it is worth picking up just to try it out. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night.